Okay, so hi Future Islanders, my name is Sophia Zayner and I am your admissions counselor for a and Corpus Christi. So today we're going to go over some admissions requirements, programs that we offer here at the Island University, and just some fun facts and some awesome things that we can offer you. So first and foremost, if you've never been to our campus, this is an aerial shot of what we look like. We are the only university in the nation located on its own island. We are sitting on 240 acres of land, which is really unique about us. I'm sure you've all been to Corpus Christi, but we're home of Whataburger, home of Selena, and we're the sparkling city by the sea, so that's pretty awesome as well. So a little bit of history about our campus. So we were founded in 1947 as University of Corpus Christi. And you can see there that we've gone through some name changes since 1947. We became a part of the a system in 1993. And down there at the bottom, you can see some little pictures of what our campus has looked like over time and how we've grown and expanded. Um, again, the island we're on is called Ward Island and we're sitting on 240 acres of land. So we're a pretty large campus. Our campus size is just over 12,000 students, so we're a medium-sized institution, but we're still able to provide an 18 to 1 student to faculty ratio. So even though you may have some large lecture classes, you're still going to be able to feel that personalized learning experience with your professors, the faculty and staff that are going to support you during your time here at the Island University. We represent 45 states and 51 different nations here at a and Corpus Christi. We are the second most diverse campus in the a and system, and we're proud to welcome people from all over the world to our campus. And we have over 150 clubs and organizations here at a Corpus Christi. So anything that you can think of to get involved with, everything from the skydiving club to the scuba diving club, just about everything in between we have to offer you as a club or organization. Okay, so we're gonna get started and we're gonna talk a little bit about some of our major programs that we offer. Now at a and Corpus Christi, we offer over 80 areas of study, so there's something for just about everybody. Um, and I'm gonna go over the five undergraduate academic colleges that we have on campus. Um, and the reason you pick a very specific college or university is because you're interested in studying something very specific. So while you're looking for a college or university, um, one of the main things you need to be looking for is that they have your area of study. So I'm gonna go over some of the main areas of study that we have. Um, and you can find all of our degrees, majors and minors on our website at catalogs.tamucc.edu. But I'm gonna, like I said, just cover some of the um, popular ones. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is our College of Business. Our College of Business is double AC, BS accredited, meaning we have the highest accreditation a college of business can earn in the world. Um, so basically only 1% of universities actually have this accreditation, so we're very proud of that. Um, it kind of puts this prestigious stamp on our college of business. We have everything from accounting, marketing, finance, kind of anything in the realm of business. Um, we have a brand new business building for our students, so brand new facilities. And again, you're going to learn from some of the best people in the business field. Um, we also have a study abroad program within our College of Business, so our students are able to go to Germany for three to six months and study abroad there, which is really awesome. The best part about Germany is that tuition is free over there, so our students are really just paying for that plane ticket to get there and back, and the room and board while they're studying abroad. All the classes they take in Germany will come back with them, so you're able to get some of your classes out of the way, but studying abroad, so it's a really great opportunity there. Okay, the next one is our College of Education and Human Development, and this actually just houses a couple of things. So first one is interdisciplinary studies. So this is for our students that are interested in early childhood education, all the way from like preschool, kindergarten, all the way to sixth grade. So um, we actually have a fully functioning elementary school on campus where we teach ages three to sixth grade, and it's a bilingual school. So every day they are taught in both Spanish and English. So by sixth grade, they can speak both languages, which is really awesome. These kids are insanely smart. And as our students work in our interdisciplinary program, they actually get to work inside the classroom with those little kiddos. So there's a lot of hands-on experience there. We don't just throw you into a classroom and expect you to know what to do you shadow, you have mentors, and you're able to kind of work through that classroom setting during your time with us. Um, we also have in this college our kinesiology program. So this has a, diff a couple of different pathways that you can take as a student depending on what your ultimate goal is. Um, so for students that maybe want to be physical therapists, right, we offer pre-allied health for students that are interested in maybe going to physical therapy school after they graduate with us. Um, if you want to coach, we have, um, you know, a 
physical education track that you could take, you know, and along that we help our students get their teaching certification so they can coach maybe in the high school or middle school setting and also be able to teach certain classes as well. So that's a really great program. We do have our biomechanics labs on campus for our students. So it's a very hands-on, um, a lot of lab time there. And also we're division one campus. So I'll talk about sports in just a little bit, but we have 16 division one sports teams and you can see here our kinesiology students working directly with um, athletes in our um, kinesiology program, which is awesome. And then the last thing in this college is actually our uh, Army ROTC program. So we do have a direct affiliation with the U.S. Army. So students that are interested in maybe doing military, we can help them achieve their uh, bachelor's degree and also become a commissioned officer. So for the first two years, it's non-commitment. You don't have to sign a contract with the U.S. Army. After two years, they will ask you to sign a contract with the military. And if that's what you decide to do, you'll graduate with whatever degree that you've selected. Um, you'll have a minor in military science because of all the work that you've done, and then you'll be commissioned officer on graduation day in front of everybody. So that's a really awesome opportunity, and there's a lot of scholarship money there as well. Okay, the next one we're going to talk about is the College of Liberal Arts. So this one houses a lot of different stuff. This is our most extensive college. So everything from art, music, and theater, criminal justice, psychology, sociology, um, and so just to name a few of those things. So we are um, known for our theater program. We have one of the best theater programs in the state of Texas. Um, we have 100% job placement for students that are getting their theater degree and getting their teaching certification at the same time. So students that have ever thought about teaching maybe in a middle or high school setting. We have 100% job placement there now. Um, we are known for our criminal justice program as well. So we have a lot of adjunct faculty and staff, meaning that their full-time job is not to teach. They are in the criminal justice field and they teach classes part-time. So we're learning from some of the best professionals um, in the criminal justice field in the state of Texas, which is awesome. We have music industry minor um, for students that are interested in music production. We have recording studios on campus, which is super awesome. And then again, music. Um, you do have to audition to be admitted into our music program, so it's very competitive. Um, but that's what makes us one of the best in the state. And again, art. We have a whole art degree that encompasses all areas that you can think of. Um, so lots of stuff going on here. If there are specific questions about this, I really encourage you to look at the degree programs online so you can kind of see what those courses might look like. Okay, but that's our College of Liberal Arts. Our next one is going to be nursing and health sciences. So nursing is actually one of our most popular degrees because we are nationally recognized for our nursing program. Um, and again, we have one of the best programs in the state of Texas. So we offer our students the bachelor's of science in nursing while we help them become a registered nurse in the state of Texas at the same time. So what happens is our students will come in as freshmen. They're going to be pre-nursing majors until they meet the requirements and have taken the proper courses to apply into the program. Once our students are in the program, it's five semesters all the way through. Um, when you exit the program, so like you're ready to graduate, you'll take the exit exam, okay, and, and once you pass that, you'll graduate. And then after graduation, about three to six months later is when we see our students taking the NCLEX. And the NCLEX is that registered nurse exam for the state of Texas. We have a 98% pass rate. So our program is really preparing our students to take the NCLEX exam, and so we really can see them excel there. Um, health science is going to be more of the administrative part of a hospital. So you're not necessarily working directly with patients. You're going to be more working with the nurses and the doctors that work in those hospitals. So if that interests you, we encourage students to do that and maybe pair that with one of our business degrees as well. Um, and one, something else I did mention about um, nursing is that we actually have a state-of-the-art mock hospital on the second floor of our nursing building. We have our mannequins and you can see some of, their, some of them on the screen. They move, they talk, they breathe, their pupils dilate they sweat, they vomit. We do have one that gives birth. So it's a very realistic environment, right? Yes, you'll have a lecture class and you'll listen to your professors, you know, read out of a book. But a lot of the times our nursing students are working with hands-on experience. So um, like I said, they're in our mock hospital, but we also place them in real hospitals. So as a nursing student, every semester, you are placed in a real hospital here in Corpus Christi. You're assigned a patient and you work with already a uh, registered nurses and doctors on the floor um, to do your clinical rotations, which kind of help you determine what kind of nurse you want to be, but also give you that real world experience as well. So again, it's a very awesome program. It's competitive, but that's what makes us one of the best in the state of Texas. 
And the last one we're going to go over is the College of Science and Engineering. This one houses our most popular major, which is biology, specifically biology with that marine emphasis. Because of our location, it kind of makes us the perfect spot to study marine biology. Um, we have the second largest marine biology institute in the U.S. on our campus. It's called the Heart Research Institute, and so all it does is marine biology research. Um, so they go out on their boats, they collect data, and we can actually share that with Mexico and Cuba at the same time. We're constantly talking to each other to see what's going on in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, so in order to be a marine biologist, you do have to have your bachelor's, get your master's, and then become a doctor and get your doctorate degree. And we can offer all three of those for you here at AIM Corpus. Um, in this uh, we also have mechanical and electrical engineering. We were just ranked one of the best in, of our kind for engineering programs in the state of Texas, so that's super awesome. We did just put in brand new labs and facilities for our engineering students, so everything's state of the art. We're also home of unmanned flight. So there's a drone in that on that page that you see at the bottom right. Um, and so we actually have drones on campus. Our drone program is nationally renowned. There's only five test sites in the US. Um, and we're one of those to test flying research drones for the federal government. So our um, engineering students are working hands-on with our drone program to make that happen. And we're also just started working with NASA. We're trying to get drones into the national airways. So there's a lot of cool opportunities here for our engineering students. Um, one of the, another degree that a lot of people don't know that we have is GIS, and that's Geographic Information Systems. So if you look in the top right hand corner, you're going to see those girls with that tripod. If you've ever seen anybody out on the side of the road with that tripod, they're mapping and surveying the land, and that's what GIS is all about. So Google Earth, Google Maps, we can kind of thank them for the expansion of that. And we actually have the number one program in the nation for GIS. We have 100% job placement. So when you graduate from AM Corpus with a GIS degree, you're guaranteed a job there, which is really cool. Um, here we also, in this college, we have physics, chemistry, um, and biomedical sciences. And that's really going to be for our students that are interested in pursuing a professional degree. So whether you want to be a doctor, um, a dentist, a pharmacist, a veterinarian, you would major in bio, uh, biomedical sciences here. And it's a pre-professional program. We prepare our students to go to professional school after graduation. Um, and so that's a highly renowned program as well here with us. So again, pre-professional with a and Corpus. And then we prepare you to go to that professional school after you graduate with us. All right, so now that we've talked about some of those major programs, we're going to kind of get into the fun stuff. Um, so a little bit about what it's like to be an Islander. So we have over 150 clubs and organizations on campus. Like I said, everything from the skydiving club to the scuba diving club. We're active in our sporting events, Division One. We have tailgating, uh, plenty of volunteer opportunities for our students. On campus is super active. We always have events, carnivals, music festivals, whatever it is. Um, we're a very laid back environment because of our location. You can kind of imagine the island feels very laid back. So always something going on on campus. Like I said, we have 16 Division I sports teams. We are part of the Southland Conference. Um, and our main sport here at AM Corpus Christi is going to be basketball. Um, so that's kind of how we center homecoming. We center everything around basketball in the spring semester. And our newest addition to our Division I sports is women's beach volleyball. And if you've ever been downtown Corpus Christi recently, we actually just put in brand new uh, basketball courts, but also brand new beach volleyball courts. So we're super excited to add that to our Division I, um, uh, Division I sports here. And so we're hoping only to expand there. All right, so some traditions that we have. So on the far left, that young lady is wearing a lei. Those are some of the traditions that we have. So we can actually wear a fresh flower lei as we walk the stage at graduation. We have our Islander ring ceremony where students get their rings as early as their junior year. And inside that ring box comes a sand dollar. And we take that sand dollar down to one of our fountains on campus and we toss it in. And again, homecoming, those are those last two pictures there. We have the lighting of the eye, we have a parade, a tailgate, and a full week of festivities leading up to the games that we play on Saturday at downtown at the American Bank Center. So lots of traditions here on the island. So students, um, we do require some of our students to live on campus and there are exempt counties. Um, and to look at those exempt counties, you would wanna to go to housing.tamucc.edu. If you are exempt, you don't have to live on campus, but if you're not exempt, we do require one year. So your freshman year of living on campus. And there are two properties. So Miramar is our first property and that's located directly on the island. These are residence halls and apartments. It is a 10 month lease and you will, uh, you'll, you'll purchase a meal plan when you live at Miramar. 
Okay, and then the other property is Momentum Village. This is uh, just less than a mile away from our main campus. There is a shuttle that will take you back and forth every 15 to 20 minutes. These are apartment townhome style. This is a 12 month lease and there's no meal plan requirement. So typically our freshmen are living here at Miramar. Um, but again, you can live at either property if uh, you're required to live on campus. So we welcome you. Even if you're not required and you'd like to live on campus, we welcome you. Um, it's a great experience if you have the opportunity to do that. Okay, so here in just a second and a couple of slides, I'm going to talk about tuition and fees and all that fun stuff. When I say fees, the fees that you pay go towards the services that we provide to our students on campus. So tutoring services, counseling, our gym, our career services center, our health clinic, um, all of that is paid for already in the fees that you pay. Um, so we really encourage our students to use our services because they've already been paid for and they're kind of just waiting for you to come and use them. So if you get sick and you need to go to the health clinic, um, you can do that. There's no co-payment, right? Um, so anything like that, we really encourage you to use those services. All right, so how do you become an Islander? So first and foremost, you have to apply online on applytexas.org where you're gonna find almost all of the Texas colleges and universities. So you'll fill out our application. Um, there's no essay requirement. So it shouldn't take more than about 45 minutes. It's pretty fast. You're gonna to wanna to submit the $40 application fee. If you qualify for a fee waiver, please let us know because I don't wanna take your money. I'll take your fee waiver and we'll remove that fee from your account. Um, I need a high school transcript and I will eventually need a college transcript if you've done any dual credit work, but I don't need that for you to be admitted, okay? And then I need an SAT or ACT score. I don't require both. Um, I do just require one over the other. And these are what our admissions requirements look like. So we base admission off your class rank and your test score. So depending on where you fall on your class rank will depend on the SAT or ACT score that you need for admission. So you can see there that top 25% is automatic regardless of score, so there's no minimum requirement. I just have to have something on file for you. And then you can see second, third, and fourth quarter, uh, you can see exactly what you need for admission. We do super score, so that means, say you've taken the SAT multiple times, um, send me all your scores because we're gonna pull the best sections from each test and put them together to give you one big super score. Same with the ACT. So we do super score. It's really important for our students to know that a lot of the times you don't wanna send me your lower scores and I get it, but we'll always take the highest test score on file and I'll try to put them together to give you the highest score possible, okay? All right, so here is a breakdown of cost of attendance. This is for two semesters, a fall and spring semester. Um, and I'm gonna break this down just a little bit because I think when you look at the total number, it, it is a lot and I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna be, be very transparent, but I'm gonna kind of tell you how we can go through this. So um, first and foremost, tuition and fees is gonna be around 10,000 for a year and that's gonna be pretty accurate. Room and board will vary depending on the floor plan that you select, uh, what meal plan you're required to purchase, and even if you're gonna live on campus altogether. So um, if you're exempt, you can take out that 11,000. If you're not exempt, that price is going to vary depending on the floor plan that you select. Books and supplies, so this is for a whole year of school. Um, I was a student here at AM Corpus Christi, and I'm actually currently a graduate student, so I do still buy books and all that fun stuff. Um, I do think that's a pretty high price for books and supplies. I've never paid that much, so I think we're kind of giving you the highest possible example there. This will shift depending on are you going to rent your books, are you going to buy them, are they new, are they used, so it's all kind of going to depend on that. Miscellaneous and transportation. So um, we kind of factor these in for students that maybe are out of state transportation, like maybe they have to buy a plane ticket to go home for Thanksgiving or Christmas, or maybe you are not living on campus, so you're driving back and forth from home to campus every day. Miscellaneous is, I don't know, say you get a flat tire or you know some un, unexpected expense arises, we wanna make sure that you have allotted money for that. So the grand total is around 25.5. Um, and you're probably looking at me on the screen saying, oh my gosh, I don't have that money. And that's okay. A lot of our students don't. Um, and the reason and how we pay for school is going to be financial aid. So the FAFSA for seniors, it opened up October 1st. Juniors, uh, it's always going to open up on October 1st of your senior year. So it's a free um, application for federal student aid. So that's what FAFSA stands for. It's a free, again, online application for federal student aid. You should not have to pay to apply for financial aid. Um, there's different kinds of financial aid depending on 
the information that you input on the FAFSA. So there's grants and scholarships, that's free money that doesn't have to be paid back. Loans, we all know loans, you do have to pay that money back. Um, and then work study, work study gives you a chance to work on campus while you go to school at the same time. That money comes back to the student. It's just like a normal job every two weeks. Okay, um, if you have specific questions about financial aid, we wanna make sure that you get your questions answered or seniors, maybe you're filling out your FAFSA and you're confused, you don't know what to put, um, definitely reach out. You can reach out to me and my contact information will be at the end. Um, but down there at the bottom, that's our financial aid outreach advisor and her name is Kayla Lopez. And she's basically knows everything there is to know about FAFSA. So if you have questions, definitely reach out to one of us. And we're more than happy to help you with that. Okay, and there's her contact information again. Okay, so um, for our seniors, we do have a freshman scholarship program. The deadline for this is December 1st. There's no extra application or essay for this. It's you simply applying on Apply Texas, submitting your high school transcript, uh, your SAT or ACT score, and submitting that application fee or the fee waiver. All of that has to be sent in by December 1st to be eligible. And you can see here that this freshman scholarship program is based on GPA, and SAT or ACT score. So you do have to meet both columns. Um, and then depending on if you meet those columns, you can kind of see over there what score you might be eligible or what uh, award you might be eligible for. It is a four year scholarship program. So say you're awarded the Achieve Scholarship, that's 12,000 total and that's 3,000 a year. So then we would cut that in half again, and that's 1500 a semester. So students, if you work really hard in high school and you have the scores and the GPA, I really encourage you to meet the deadline um, so you can be uh, possibly eligible for some of this money. Okay. And then the other scholarship opportunity that we have is our current and incoming student scholarship. This opens uh, opened up on November 1st. Um, so some of the requirements you have to be admitted to apply for this, you have to have accessed your Islander accounts and when you get admitted, it talks all about that kind of how to access those. You do have to have a FAFSA on file um, by March. So not right now, but by March, you need to have your FAFSA on file and you need to plan to be a full time student. So if you're interested, you'll go to the scholarship website. It's scholarships.tamucc.edu. You'll click current and incoming student scholarship, and you will need to fill out the short answer essay questions, um, and you can kind of see what you might be eligible for there. Okay. So once you get admitted, you're gonna get a packet in the mail. It's gonna be exciting. Yay, you're gonna get an email, and in that packet, it's gonna tell you to do all this fun stuff, um, like logging into your accounts, completing your FAFSA, scholarships, submitting all this additional documentation. So I encourage you, when you get that packet, I know you're excited, I'm excited for you. You're gonna pull up the banner, it's gonna say hashtag Future Islander, you're gonna take a picture, but don't throw that packet under your bed, make sure you read through it because it has some really important steps. Um, the hard part's over, you know, the admissions and document submitting, but there's still some additional steps that need to be taken. So please make sure you read through it. And again, my contact information will be displayed at the end, so I'm more than happy to help you with any of these additional steps. Okay, so this is something new and exciting that we're doing at AM Corpus Christi. So our students that are committing to the Island University, um, if you are committing, you can contact me. Again, I'll show my contact information in just a minute, but you can contact me and I'll have you fill out our commit card and you can actually take one of these yard signs home um, and I'll bring it to you, it's super exciting. Um, so this is awesome. Again, I'll show my contact information at the end, but if you're interested in commitment and you've been admitted, um, we can definitely go and I can bring you your yard sign. Okay, so there are a couple of ways that you can come and visit us. So kind of determining where you go to school, I always tell students you need to go visit that campus because you have this idea like everything sounds great. Hopefully, you know, I presented some really great information to you. But um, if you don't, if you step on my campus and you don't feel excited, then this might not be the place for you. So it's really important that maybe not just me, but anywhere that you're looking at, you step on that campus and you kind of feel excited um, and you kind of check it out. So there are two ways that you can come check us out here at the Island University. The first is a normal campus tour. We do these Monday through Friday at 9, 11, and 1 o'clock. Um, it's free. Uh, you'll get a kind of a different presentation from a student, a current undergraduate student, and then a tour guide will take you around campus, show you the buildings, so you can kind of see what it looks like on a normal school day. Okay, it's free. You just register at the website at the bottom, tour.tamucc.edu. Okay, and lastly, the next, the next way you can come visit us is Island Day. We have these Saturday preview events. 
And these are way more than just a campus tour. These are where you can meet our faculty and staff, current students studying what you want to study. You can see our labs, our facilities. So like our mock hospital, our engineering labs, you know, kinesiology labs, all of that stuff is open to view on Island Day. So I encourage you to come. This is absolutely free as well. So we just had our first one in October. We have one coming up soon. Um, if you're a junior or a sophomore, freshman looking at this, um, we have these every single year. So if you can't make it this year, we have them every single year. So our next one is November 16th and then two in February, one in March. So again, these are absolutely free. You just register at the link provided below. It's islanday.temucc.edu. And we'll feed you breakfast, we'll feed you lunch, and we'll give you a t-shirt at the end of the day. So there's no reason to not come. We're super excited and we, we would love to welcome you to the Island University. Also, if you wanna follow us on social media, we'd love to have you. Most of the events that we hold on campus are open to the public. Actually, all of them are open to the public. So the things I talk about, like carnivals and music festivals, they're all open. And so if you follow us on social media, you can actually see when those are gonna be and you're more than welcome to pop by and kind of see what our student life is like. All right, and I promised you I'd show my contact information. So this is how you can get a hold of me. Again, I am your Coastal Bend recruiter. So whatever it is that you need from me, I'm more than happy to answer questions, pick up documents, uh, walk you through anything that you might be confused about. Um, the best ways to get a hold of me is my email um, and that bottom number, that cell phone number. You can text or call that number um, at any time and it'll go straight to the Google app on my cell phone. If you call my office, I'm usually never in my office. So uh, one of our student workers will answer it and they'll be more than happy to help you if they can. Um, but definitely the email and that cell phone number are the best ways to get a hold of me. But I wanna thank you so much for your time today. And I hope that uh, the Island University can offer you something great. Again, please reach out to me if you have any questions, but go Islanders.